Hello my dear friends, I am Paul Oscar Mike Zero. Echo Tango is my amateur radio call sign and this is the Quan Cheng TK11. And today I would like to announce you a great news regarding this tiny quad band handheld transceiver. But first let me explain what is that for transceiver for those of you who still don't have it at home. This is the quad band transceiver a 10 watt radio and it works on 70 centimeters, 2 meters, also on 6 meters and 10 meters band. Which means that this is not the only VHF and UHF radio, but also the HF radio and 6 meter band. This radio is actually a wideband receiver as well. And receiver works from long waves, which is 150 or 153 kilohertz up to 1.2 or 1 and more a gigahertz. It is able to decode the single sideband uh, modulation, so it's great for HF ham radio listening as well. But there is one issue, or actually it was an issue. The issue was this socket for 3.5 millimeter jack. The reason why I say it is an issue, the frequencies below 18 megahertz, which is also 20 meter band, was able to receive only through this 3.5 millimeter socket. The frequencies higher than 18 megahertz was able to receive from the main socket which is the SMA male and we all criticized the manufacturer for this secondary 3.5 millimeter socket because the 3.5 millimeter jack was pretty wobbling there and the connection was not very stable especially when you had some uh, cable with 3.5 millimeter jack and you're moving from with the antenna and so on. All right, so we complained and finally Quan Cheng announced to me that they are working on the version 2. And finally, and thanks that the secondary connector will stay in the version 2, but reception will be able to receive from the main antenna connector. So the whole frequency spectrum from long waves up to 1 gigahertz will be via this SMA male connector. And this is not all. Actually, if you don't have proper antenna for long waves or middle waves and you like to use it, you can use still the T-shaped ferrite antenna which is originally in the box. So, if you have connected some kind of antenna here in the SMA socket and if you plug in this ferrite antenna or any other antenna, this antenna will be preferred, okay? So it will be switched automatically. So on long waves, in this case, it is used this T-shaped ferrite antenna, but this antenna is currently disconnected. If you plug out this T-shaped antenna, now you are receiving through this main socket. And this is the big deal in this radio because I found this little issue as a big issue for the Quan Cheng TK11. This is the second version, as you can see also here, the engraved information is on the chassis and I say that this is a prototype and is not yet on the market. And one thing, I have here these two um, Band, dual band actually, a 70 centimeter and 2 meter uh, band antenna, which is a little bit longer than original one, or maybe if you have antenna from the TK, uh, from the UVK5, I am able to receive also the short waves on this antenna. 
And in this case, you don't need to use any other antenna. If you need uh, this radio somewhere on the trip or, or something, you don't have any room space for any bigger antenna or any additional antenna, you can use this dual band antenna, which is high gain antenna for 2 meters, 70 centimeter, also as a short wave antenna. And you don't need to do anything, just tune in the frequency and listen. So let's get started and let me show you how this radio sounds like. If you wish to listen the short waves on this radio, you need to switch to the VFO A over here. So let me switch to the VFO A and then let me switch to this VFO mode as I'm currently in the memory mode. So I'm here on VFO mode and you can see the modulation and frequency. Right here, right now, we can go down to short waves, long waves, middle waves, wherever you want. So you can see that I'm able to receive uh, signals in a single sideband and two meters. And let me go to short wave. So push this button here and input the frequency 014, let's say 220. You see that we came to this frequency immediately. You don't need to change the antenna sockets or anything else. You can see I still have this dual band VHF UHF antenna. So you don't need to do anything, just input the frequency to short waves and, and tune. You can see there is a station received on my dual band antenna. Another station there. So you can see that when the propagations are good, you can listen uh, short waves even on this dual band VHF UHF antenna. And now, if you want to go to long waves, for example, again, a zero, 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 two, two, five, which is Polish radio on long waves. All right. And we are on AM, as you can see here, and the long waves and the Polish radio. And this is on this uh, dual band VHF and UHF antenna. But in this case, as I told you that this little socket is still active, so we can use also the T-shaped antenna. So let me see what the difference will be in this case. And I disconnect the antenna and automatically radio will connect the SMA connector. Okay, let's see. And signal is weaker. Connect it back. Beautiful. And this is the way actually how you can use this ferroid antenna as well as your dual band VHF UHF antenna. But uh, there is also another option and you can use this 27 megahertz antenna if you have this antenna with the SMA female socket. Okay, now it's still inside. 
so I can erect the antenna and you can see the signal improvement. Okay, but that's the second issue. What we reported to the Quancheng and that is very poor dynamics of the receiver. And uh, if you put this uh, bigger antenna, longer antenna with higher gain, the signals from the short wave, middle wave and long wave on, uh, broadcast stations will overload the receiver. And therefore you can hear the AM mix of the stations on the frequency. But if you use this small T-shaped antenna, signal improved. Okay, and therefore maybe I recommend to use this uh, T-shaped antenna for long waves and middle waves uh, bands and if you are looking for some uh, uh, short wave ham radio uh, bands and signals you can use these uh, two band or dual band uh, antenna for VHF because it's not so long and it's not a, a big gain on it and therefore this antenna will definitely not overload the receiver in the Quancheng radio. And here you can see the AM station on uh, middle waves and you can see actually the difference if you have connected the T-shape antenna or your dual band VHF UHF antenna. This is on T-shape antenna and this is on this dual band. So You're able to receive the same signal on this short antenna and also on the T-shaped antenna. And therefore I believe that <clears throat> if you have no other option to use this radio maybe somewhere on your walk, <laughs> this is the right one. Let's go to shortwave and SSB signals. And here is the Russian station on 20 meter single sideband received on the SMA main antenna socket and the VHF UHF antenna. And see what happens when I put this T shaped antenna. So, as you can see that this antenna is pretty useful for <laughs> shortwave uh, listening. And here is the Italian station on 20 meter single sideband. So the station from Belgium and I will try to switch the antenna. So definitely <laughs> this dual band antenna is still working pretty well on 20 meters. And you can also change the bandwidth or a filter bandwidth in squelch step menu 
And here you can see the step, which is 5 kilohertz on CB band and bandwidth. So we have 3 kilohertz, 3.5 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz, 4.5. You can play also with the AGC settings in the radio, but first you need to enter into the special service mode. You can do that if you push and hold these two center buttons and turn on the radio. So push and hold, turn on the radio, wait until radio will not boot up and here you can see the special a menu and find AGC settings. Over here you can see the MW and SW AGC gain, MW, SW AGC high and low, step, time and so on. There are some other stuff and back on the AGC. So you can play with those settings. I recommend AGC step is on 255. I have noticed that if you go with the AGC step to zero, your radio will stop receiving signals on short waves. And AGC time, I've set it to fast, which is 100 milliseconds. If you need a longer time, you need to go up or down and set this time with the buttons. I leave it here on 100 milliseconds. So this was the latest news regarding the TK11 transceiver and receiver for short waves and also middle waves and long waves. All this has been done by this dual band VHF and UHF antenna only. So it is really fun to have just one radio for VHF, UHF, 6 meter, 2 meter and also short wave band receiver single sideband am and also fm so i hope that you like this new version which is the version 2 and hopefully the quanchain company will release these radios on the market 73 and thanks for watching